Oh, stay mad. Also, having a baby in your stomach isn't that hard, lol. It's like having a big meal. Well, <laughs> what? I guarantee you that's coming from somebody who has no idea what they're talking about. That's basically all we look at on this channel. People who just say some outrageous stuff. And with that being said, let's do some more of it. Welcome back everybody, hope you're doing amazing and I hope you're ready for some more Not How Girls Work. This subreddit is a lot like Confidently Incorrect, which by the way I need to make a video on. But yeah, it's basically people who don't know what they're talking about and act like they do know what they're talking about. And don't get me wrong, I definitely don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to this sort of stuff, but I don't act like I do. And with that being said, enjoy the video guys. A woman's idea of let's just be friends is hey listen to all of my problems and keep me company while I have you know with someone else yeah so a woman's idea of being friends is being friends yeah what <laughs> you don't really think your friends owe you that do ya like that they should just sleep with you <laughs> I hope not would women date an abusive a-hole if he was six foot five with a prominent jawline oh here we go in my experience, being tall seems to negate everything that could potentially be a deal breaker. Jawline on top of being tall is like an icing on the cake. I was wondering if women would date a guy who matched the above mentioned description if he was a complete piece of crap in every other domain. Also, would you always date the taller dude? Like 6 foot 2 with a jawline versus 6 foot 5 with an average face? Who would you pick? As for personality wise, I know of women who would date a potential you know whatest if he happened to be tall. So women, do you agree with my sentiment? Oh, dude, I don't agree with your sentiment. What the hell is this? You actually think that you can do whatever you want and nothing matters as long as you're tall? <laughs> oh no. So tell me about yourself. I'm a six foot four hideous beast that cruelly imprisons people for stealing flowers. Did you say six foot four. Oh, I'm so done with this. <laughs> Your personality is what matters. Like I know a lot of people think it's not, but it is. Women get mostly infertile at 40, but live to be 80. Without a family, what are you gonna do with those 40 long, long years? Yeah, some people shouldn't be on Twitter. Actually, take that back. I think most people shouldn't be on Twitter. Twitter is one of those places that can either be really, really good or really, really bad. When a girl posts I love him so much without mentioning his name more than 15 guys feel special. Oh dude, why do these posts even exist? <laughs> like seriously like what purpose do they actually serve other than for people like me to laugh at them in YouTube videos? Okay, so this one is about childbirth. I don't know, that's still bad as they care more about her discomfort for a few minutes than a human life. A few minutes? What? Birth is considered a trauma. A slight pain for like 15 minutes? Nah, what? You think childbirth is a slight pain for 15 minutes? Bro, straight up, people who think like this should not be allowed to comment on this sort of stuff. Do you think they're just trying to make people frustrated? A hallmark of the feminist is that they demand the right to vote so that they can vote to send men to fight and die in war while they get taken care of back home by the government. Wow, dude. <laughs> um, no. They actually think that everybody is the same. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not what's going on. Like, oh my god, all these feminist women are against us. Bro, stop this. Oh yeah, this one. I knew this would be on this subreddit. Girls be like, new year, new me. As if their you know what comes with a clear history button. Yeah, I'm glad we get to read this one for a second time. I I really needed to experience this twice. Seven sad truths about girls. Oh, here we go. One, if a girl laughs too much, even at stupid things, she is lonely deep inside. Well, what? 
<laughs> oh, this is so dumb already. Two, if a girl loves to sleep a lot, she is probably sad. What does this actually have to do with being a girl, though? Like, even if this was true, and I don't know if it is, what does that actually have to do with women? If a girl speaks less but speaks first, she keeps secrets. Oh, yeah, you better watch out for her, because, you know, this weird Instagram page said so. I genuinely feel for people that believe this sort of crap. If a girl cries, she is not weak. Oh, yeah, well, if anybody cries, it doesn't mean that they're weak. I agree with this one. If a girl becomes angry over silly things, it means she needs to be loved. Well, where are they getting this information? Like, that's what I want to know. Are they just making this up or what? If a girl is silent, she is dying from inside. Yeah, like, I know what they mean. You know, like, if you're not saying much, then maybe there's something on your mind. But why is that just specific for women? It's not. <laughs> Being vague and stupid is like the backbone of all Instagram pages. And finally, seven, if a girl asks you to leave her alone, she needs you too much at that time. Yeah, that one's not true. Jesus. If a girl asks you to leave her alone, leave her alone. Doesn't mean that she needs you too much at that time. Is that what nice guys think? I feel like we've read stuff like this before. Two weeks after a normal delivery, a woman should, in most cases, be able to return to her day-to-day -day household chores. Feminists need to focus on such goals. Back to the kitchen as soon as possible. Drink plenty water. Oh my god. Yeah, it'd be too much for you to do some household work, wouldn't it? Well, the fact that people actually expect this of other people is disgusting. Maybe you could do some household chores, bro. Girls, your uterus is so much more than a baby making machine, lol. Don't get it removed on a whim. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not something that you just do on a whim. Like, that's the funny thing here. They actually think that somebody would wake up and be like, oh, well, I better take it out today. You know, I got no reason to, but let's do it. Gentlemen, give up the love fantasy. If you're not a user, you're being used. There are no physically attractive women who want to be equals with their men. They may pretend to, they may scream it until blue in the face, but ultimately they all want to be ruled by a man who treats them as subordinate. Ugh. Understand this reality, let it flow through you and give up the childish and feminine preoccupation with love. Love is just a lust with better marketing. Oh dude, that actually makes me sad. I really hope one day they look back on this and they're like, oh, that's a load of crap. If she has this on her bedroom wall, there's 100% chance that she's gonna cheat on you with a guy named Brett. Yeah. Okay, guys, I think it's wholesome memes time. That's definitely enough not how girls work for today. Oh, frick. Only one bite left. I better half it. Oh, no, last bite. I'll be polite and just take half. Many hours later, I'll just half it. Yeah, and it's like literally microscopic. Gotta do the right thing and be polite. Very cute. Make sure to take him out. Yes, boss. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so cute. <laughs> oh, wow, that's the best thing I've seen all day. Yeah, boss, absolutely I will. I'll show him a great time. My buddy starts a new small business. Me. I'll take your entire stock. Oh my god, yeah, there's nothing like supportive friends, especially when you start something new. That's so wholesome. I love this sort of stuff. How I perceived myself in the past when I had very low self-esteem. Seeing myself now and liking who I am. Oh, that's bloody beautiful. I'm so happy for ya. And you know what? That's a wonderful place to leave today's video here, guys. Thank you guys so much once again for watching one of my videos. I really appreciate it. And I really hope you had a fun time. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and you can even hit that little bell notification button if you want to. By the way, I think like 25,000 of you guys have hit the bell notification button, which is insane. That means so much to me, by the way, guys. And today's comment of the day goes to Dead Like Disco. Man, I was gone for a month, and coming back to this channel feels like visiting an old friend. I'm so happy to see the constant growth, man. Dead Like Disco, that made my entire day when I read that. You guys have no idea how much these sorts of comments
comments mean to me. Thank you so much. And yeah, you basically are visiting an old friend. That's how I think about this YouTube channel. Like just 77,000 friends hanging out. And that makes me very happy. And on that note, guys, have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you next time.